the greatest rock and roll song of all time, Stairway to Heaven. There are so many facts about Stairway to Heaven online, but they're all in different places. Books, documentaries, little YouTube videos. So I wanted to take my favorite must-know facts about Stairway to Heaven and combine them all in one place. Page and Plant actually put Stairway to Heaven together from a bunch of tapes that they'd recorded whilst they were staying at the famous Bronny Orr cottage in Wales. And that cottage is actually still standing today and it's frequently visited by rockers from all over the world. So I'll see you there. Page and Plant then took those recordings to the rest of the band at Headley Grange. Now, Headley is a listed building in Hampshire, grade two listed. Um, it used to be a workhouse, um, but in the 60s and the 70s, a whole wealth of um, talent passed through there from Fleetwood Mac, Genesis, and that's where Stairway to Heaven, as we know it today, came to life. In terms of the lyrics, Robert Plant was influenced by Scottish journalist, poet, author, folklorist, occult scholar, Lewis Spence. Now, whenever you see Lewis Spence cited online, people often refer to him as an antiquarian. Now, an antiquarian is someone who deals in antiques, old books, but those who call him an antiquarian fail to see the bigger picture. Gandalf? Hmm. He was basically a warlock. Probably had a coven of his own. Maybe he didn't march a bunch of hobbits across a fairy tale land to drop off a gold ring in a volcano, but he was basically a warlock. But Robert Plant specifically cites Spence's book, The Magic Arts in Celtic Britain, which explores the spells and the history of the Druids that were native to Wales. Stairway to Heaven was actually released on Led Zeppelin's Untitled album, which is often referred to as Led Zeppelin 4. And even though it's a timeless, whimsical track, it actually took a few years for it to reach its now anthemic status. Zeppelin were huge Tolkien and Lord of the Rings fans. Um, for example, in Ramble On, there are explicit references to the story. <clears throat> when magic filled the air, t'was in the darkest depths of Mordor, I met a girl so fair, but Gollum and the evil one crept up and slipped away with her. Shaking it, I've had too many beers over Christmas. Whew. Stairway to Heaven doesn't explicitly refer to it in the lyrics, but it does a great job of capturing the mystical innocence of the Shire. And as the song builds in tempo and instrumentation, um, you get the lyric, shadows taller than our souls. And I guess that could kind of be like the darkness that the ring brings out anyone who wears it. And obviously, the song continuing to build, you get the lyric, um, there walks a lady we all know, who shines white light and wants to show. It's 
probably about Liv Tyler, uh, or her character, not about Liv Tyler, about Liv Tyler's character. Um, and obviously she saves Frodo from the Black Riders. If you want him, come and claim him. Those are my five facts that you definitely, definitely did not already know about Stairway to Heaven. How could you possibly already know them? If you like this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the little bell next to it, it's right there. I can see it, click it, helps me out. And I will see you in the next video.